This is a really old and uh, really powerful Speedertron pack. It uh, has 2,400 watt seconds of power. Um, I recently picked this up. Uh, I got two of them, and both of them with three, you know, 102. Those are the standard Speedertron flash heads. You know, at the flash heads in both of these packs, I paid $125 for it. Uh, and I bought it from a, a professional photographer that did a lot of studio work. Uh, fashion studio work and he was in the process of cleaning out and uh, he, he just wanted to find a home for it and that's very typical of some of this older Speedotron equipment. Um, it's in perfect work, working shape. It is uh, you know cosmetically beat up a little bit and uh, it, you know what I'm going to say is it goes all the way down to 50 watt seconds for one light so 2400 watt seconds down to 50 watt seconds and that is a fair amount of range uh, and a fair amount of different opportunities you can get from one of these older professional still working uh, albeit big and heavy packs so let's take a look at that um, and really the way i think of these is not a 2400 watt second pack, but a pack that is uh, allows one light uh, in channel A to be 800, one light in channel B to be 1200, one light in channel C to be 400. So obviously if you had two lights, let's say to channel C, each light is uh, going to be the maximum of 200 watts. Uh, and, you know, the way that you get just the 800 or the 1200 or the 400 out of this is by using these uh, switches at the top. Uh, they're in the bottom left hand and bottom right hand corner. So in this case we're going to look at the 400 watt seconds and uh, it's a switch that's called combine and isolate. And um, when you isolate it what you're saying is leave 400 watts reserved in channel C. And if you were to combine it, the 400 watts, then what you're doing is you're combining the 400 with channel B, and so you're going to get a maximum of 1600 watts out of any socket that is in either B or C. Uh, and so, but let's just leave this at 400 watt seconds. Let's leave uh, 400 isolated, and let's assume I plugged in a light to 400. And, um, the the way that you go from 400 down, I said you can get down to 50, is by using the uh, the power regulator switch or dial, and that is uh, in the center here. It's right by the handle, and it goes down. You can take three stops of power out of it. So uh, you know every time you take a stop out, you cut the power in half. If you're at 400 and you go down to minus one, from full to minus one. Um, then you are well, cut it in half. 400 in half is 200. And if you go down from minus 1 to minus 2, you've taken two stops out. So uh, 200 um, cut in half is 100. And if you go all the way down to minus 3, then you cut 100 in half, and that's how you get down to 50. So 50 watt seconds is about the approximate power of a, a speed light. I think those are usually around 60 watt seconds. And, uh, you know, if you want, you can add all of these, combine uh, A with B and combine C with B. And, you know, you can get 2,400 watt seconds. I don't know why you would ever use that. Um, but if that is that number 2400 is sort of saying hey don't buy this it is just way too powerful i would never be able to get my camera to uh, get a good exposure with that uh, well you can take the power down and you can think of it as an 800 watt strobe or a 400 watt strobe um, and there's a fair amount of creativity uh, for learning uh, and especially as you get into different types of modifiers in different types of diffusion. Um, I like to use a lot of scrims um, or even bouncing light, uh, let's say into a white ceiling or off a white wall. Um, you know, you, you can't do that as easily with a speed light or a series of speed lights. Uh, and you're going to probably 
spend as much on on some good speed lights as you would on this pack and one one head. So uh, that is about all I want to say on this. I'm a pretty big fan of the old Speedotron equipment. Um, I also like older pro photo equipment. Uh, I think Speedotron typically in the United States is a little less expensive used. Um, but they, um, if you can get around uh, the idea that you're going to have to work a little bit slower, if you're going to get around the idea that you have to uh, lose a little bit of automation, um, the, you know, these things will, will work. And, uh, you know, it's not portable. So uh, it's definitely something you're going to keep in a garage or in a studio.